The food we eat is under threat. Climate change has the potential to destroy harvests and spread plant pests and diseases. At the same time, plant genetic biodiversity is being lost at an alarming rate. In the South Chinese province of Guangxi, farmers are using their unique biocultural heritage to help them better prepare for an uncertain future. As a cooperative group, they are collecting seeds and cultivating rare local species of crops. The villagers of Nonglu village, Du An County, are growing many traditional varieties of local rice, each with its own characteristic and flavor. Each year, they select the best seeds from the village to plant the following season. Ducks have been reintroduced to paddy fields as a method of biological pest control. Growing healthy food can also make a healthy profit. In addition, the ducks can be sold for profit too. Organic duck meat is healthier and demands a higher price. One important way the farmers can benefit is by selling their food directly to customers. A local environmental group has helped establish organic restaurants in the cities of Nanning, Liuzhou and Kunming. Every cooking ingredient is organic and produced by local farming communities. Dishes reflect local crops that the farmers traditionally grow in the area. The farmers benefit by earning the full market price for their produce and customers benefit from eating healthy, organic food. Lu Rongyan has also been practicing organic farming methods and sends her produce to the same restaurants. In her village of Shangula, the farmers are preserving genetic diversity by growing local varieties of maize. With the help of scientists from the Guanxi Maize Research Institute, the farmers have also participated in plant breeding programs to create new maize hybrids that both taste good and resist drought. Breeding two plant varieties together often results in a stronger, more vigorous plant that displays more extreme characteristics than either of the parent lines. The farmers have learned enough knowledge to breed the drought-resistant hybrid seeds themselves. Today they are harvesting the mother maize. In another corner of the village, they're growing the father maize. The farmers are already sharing their drought-resistant hybrid maize with other farmers in three villages in drought-stricken Yunnan province. In Shetou Chang, it has not rained for five months. Here, the villagers rely on mountain spring water to irrigate their crops. They still use a system of ancient irrigation channels to irrigate their fields, one at a time. With almost no rain, there is less spring water and fields further down the valley are going dry. Her Shou Ying needs to water her vegetable plot by hand. She is impressed to see how well the drought-resistant hybrid maize grows in these dry conditions. By involving farmers in preserving biodiversity, by breeding plants that can adapt to climate change, by using traditional knowledge to grow and protect crops in a sustainable way, the world stands a better chance of ensuring food security for an uncertain future.
，所以我们通过这种方式来对付、来应对气候的变化对农业生产的影响。